let's do this and also oh my gosh i should have said this before i don't want to trigger anybody i'm just gonna let you guys know that i might be talking about you know um different i won't be describing any different any like assaults or anything like that or any examples per se but you know i don't want to trigger anybody but you know like i said i am going to be talking about coercion so some people don't wouldn't make might not even realize that they've even been coerced into doing things that they might not necessarily have done if they weren't convinced to if that makes sense so yeah we'll be touching on those those things today just to let you guys know right coercion is by definition sexual coercion is the act of using pressure alcohol or drugs or force to have sexual contact with someone against his or her will and includes persistent attempts to have sexual contact with someone who has already refused so if i was to give an example of this a guy who whose partner has already said no they don't want to have sex and he says oh please or he says something like oh let me just put the tip in guys i don't know how many of you have heard this i've heard this even in songs i've heard that even in songs um that's coercion guys and forgive me if i'm not trying to make light of any form of type of you know sexual offense or anything like that that's not what i'm gonna do but i kind of want to make it relatable to people who might not have been in this type of a situation before or might have been but didn't realize they've been in this type of situation so i might relate it to different things i might relate it to food i might relate it to different types of behaviors kind of like things so imagine if you have adamantly said you just want ghanian jollof and then lo and behold, you have been served Nigerian jollof. You do not ask for that. You ask for Ghanaian jollof. And you've been served Nigerian jollof. Not that Nigerian jollof is not nice. It's got its own particular taste that some people like. Some people. But you yourself, you like Ghanaian jollof. And the person who's serving you is like, oh, come on, it tastes nice. It has that nice burnt taste. Come on, you've got to like it. It's delicious. You, it's... Why are they coercing you into eating something you said you don't want to eat? You said you don't want, then you had a choice, Ghanaian or Nigerian. You've chosen Nigerian. Sorry, no, you haven't done that. Mm, off beat. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. You know I love you, like my Nigerians. You know I love you guys. But seriously, you have been given Nigerian jollof instead of the beloved Ghanaian jollof that you love the minute you have been persuaded or or your boundary that you've set is being pushed that person is guilty of coercing you into doing something you don't want to do and so it works the same way with um, intimate activities um, if you are told or if you are if you say no to something and your partner's like oh my my other partner would have done this or my ex did this for me why are you not doing it kind of like thing or please please um i have to release i don't know if you heard that one before please please you have to re i have to release or else i'm not going to feel good my stomach is going to hurt all night and them things there all of that guys is coercive the thing is like Sometimes when you're being coerced to do certain things, and like I said, it could be male and female. I don't want to just say it's men that do this because I'm sure females have persuaded a man to be like, oh, please just touch here, small, small. Or just, do you know what I mean? I don't want to just make it all sound like men. Unfortunately, the majority of this comes from men and that's linked into the, heteros the heteronormative ideas of, you know, how we were conditioned to believe um, sex should be kind of like thing i was gonna say coercion the way you are coerced into stuff sometimes it's it feels sweet to your ears or oh babes you know i love you come on just do this for me you're so beautiful i just want to touch you i just want to hold you tight i just want to it sounds beautiful to your ears sometimes and so you don't even think or feel that you're being coerced do you know what i mean but it is all be coercion because your initial decision was a no and that person hasn't accepted that no 
and has pushed you to do something that you didn't necessarily want to do. So you might end up doing it and then in your heart of hearts, you're like, mm, did I really enjoy that? Do I regret it? Do I feel some type of a way? All of those things there. Do you get what I mean? All those types of coercions could be a form of RAPE or sexual assault. Like I said, with sexual coercion, sometimes people don't want to say anything because especially with women women have been taught like you need to you know be subservient to a certain extent be submissive to a certain extent the worries of you know not doing something with him can force him to actually go off with someone else or the worries of her not doing what you want can cause her to want to be with someone else and things of that nature so there's all of that kind of stuff so we really do need to start normalizing you know, being able to tell people what we what we like and what we don't like. How about teaching both male and females that consent is the key?